Um, I'm going to start this off by saying Max Crosby is playing for the black team. No. Ah, no way. No. Yes, he is. Well, why? <laughs> then we get Puka Nakua. Deal. And Patrick Mahomes. We're about to do a racial draft. You, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait one goddamn minute, Rondell. You are not getting he Patrick sounds, Mahomes. Yeah, we're getting Patrick Mahomes. Just because he sounds like Kermit, Kermit Green. Or something. Like Jenny's that he sounds like. And he's white, too. That's what you're going to do. He's white. You can't get Patrick. The shot break room. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to this week's Pickums. Oh, just kidding. Welcome back to episode 63. Let's see if you get it right. Episode 63. I'm going to start this episode off by shouting out a friend of the show, my guy, chosen by Rashard Isaac. Mendenhall. Oh, I'm shouting him out too. Shout out to Richard Mendenhall too. But shout out to uh, Chosen by Isaac. Left us a nice, heartfelt YouTube comment. Hey. Nice Why don't y'all just start being nice to us, man? Tag him. Make we, you feel nice and warm. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it makes, makes us feel fuzzy. good when you're nice. Yeah, like y'all don't always got to just fucking rip <laughs> our heads off immediately. Like, just be nice, bro. Like, we will be nice to you. We want to, like, have you guys on the show. But, like, guys. you guys are rude. Yeah, we would love to have some call-ins. That would be sweet. Yeah, but the like, I don't want to. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm gonna have a dude on Facetime. I don't want to hear that black dude's a moron and a half, and tell glasses to speak up, and all types of shit. <laughs> Why the fuck is this dude wearing glasses on the podcast? Like, he got his hair. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, they, that they. I um, don't. People just love to say dumb shit. My dude protecting his peace. I feel you, Jordan. I feel you. Ding, uh, Jay the gamer. All right. that's, all, <laughs> that's all fucking Jordan kept saying. We were playing Call of Duty. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. Oh, fucking Jay the Gamer. Hey, waking up this morning, would you guys rather be Kadarius Tony or Darnell Mooney? Neither. <laughs> you can, now you got to be one. You woke up on the all black team I, and you have to pick one. Well, they ain't making the cut. <laughs> Who would you rather be, Matt? Uh, Darnell Mooney. Because, like, you're not supposed to catch that ball, but, like, you really should have. <laughs> Like, that's not supposed to be a completion. Kadarius Tony, that's a, a fucking routine slant. <laughs> like, you are running a slant. Derek, who would you rather be this morning? Uh, give me Kadarius Tony. I got a better quarterback, so I have more time to prove myself. Um, but I can't control his hands. <laughs> I can't control my hands. You remember saying my yeah, I, 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 I can't I control my arms. I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> I think I'd rather be Darnell Mooney. Yeah, why? Yeah. <laughs> nah. Just a low percentage play. Yeah. They're not expecting I mean, you to. Yeah. Yeah. They're not like Darnell. Guard. I'm going to be honest. He was probably falling down thinking ain't no way. And then he got hit in the chest. and was like, oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I would rather be Kadarius Tony, Only because if I'm Kadarius Tony, I've been dropping passes all season. You know who I am at this point. Why are you surprised? <laughs> you already I've, know who I am. I have been David and Joku Jr. all year, bro. You know I'm going to drop passes. This is yep. no surprise. He's on the brink of being let go, though. Oh, like he is about to be let that's go. That's what I'm saying. Who's Darnell Mooney, not- they're not like, hey, bro, you you don't go catch this Hail Mary. You, you ain't to, got a spot on the roster. Hey, until they draft Marv. <laughs> then he's out of there. Hey, right now. Who's who's seat is hotter, Matt Eberflus or Kadarius Tony? Who's getting let go for real? Yeah, it's probably Kadarius. <laughs> oh man, that's fucking hilarious. Um, I don't want to get right into that, so let's just move a little bit. Um, hey, do you ever notice? Like, I know Derek, you don't watch a lot of games, but like, do you guys like intently listen to like the commentators and like the announcers during the game? No, yeah, bro, it's I immense dick sucking constantly. So not only that, but like. Immense. There are Who's a dick? lot of time immense, like a lot immense, intense, oh, yeah. immense. Um, have you noticed like how out of pocket they get at times? Like we remember some specific out of pocket moments, like Mark yeah. Jackson, for example. Yeah, he literally said he would fuck LeBron's wife in the middle of a finals game, literally. Or the dude talking about Russell Westbrook. What did he say? I it's a quote. That. You're not gonna get in trouble. I it's a quote. Ty Ty Rob- you know what he said. You can say it, bro. He's it's out. He's out of something mind. I was cotton picking mine. Bro, God you got glasses it. to hide behind. Stop being scared. Thank you, Matt. Dang. Um, Joe mean, Buck. Shit, Matt's saying <laughs> burning his black ass off, you know. <laughs> That's because you hate black quarterbacks. No. You do. That you was do. the whole the reason comment. I said that. Well, I know, but that was the reason well, I said it. Well, the comment so, section didn't like it. They didn't see the whole podcast. They saw the video. That <laughs> Did you yeah, guys hear what Joe Buck said last night about Drew Locke? That was completely out of pocket. No. No. Like, just another straight bullet. Like, there was one Steelers game, and they were, like, bigging up T.J. Watt. And they were like, J.J. Watt, one of the greatest defensive players. T.J. Watt's right behind him. Derek Watt, who's no longer in the NFL right now. Like, just uh, completely out of pocket. Why'd you have to do him like that? Last night, Joe Buck, it was fourth and one. And he said, 
Analytics say go for it, but that does in fact are in Drew Lock oh, at quarterback. I did <laughs> see oh that. Oh my god, that is so fucking foul, bro. <laughs> right, come on, <laughs> like yeah, it was like fourth and one. And at, they like, punted. At, like the fifty, and they punted. Yeah, it's an analytics say go for it, but that doesn't factor in Drew Lock. Like that is so out of pocket, bro. Why you do Drew Lock like that? And then he goes on to throw a dot to win the game. That was a good play by him. And Philly dropped the third game in a row. Are you guys worried about Philly now? No? Vegas needed that. At three in a row. I mean, did you see that they're 0 7 versus Seattle? No. They, they have not in December. I took Seattle money line in the under last night. I, I think they're 0 8 now. I took Philly money line and I took a Kenneth Walker anytime touchdown. I was this close. So I, saw, close. I saw a tweet that said to save the weekend, Vegas needs the Seahawks in the under so bad. I said, okay, buddy. I'm That's it, I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> Count me in, brother. I don't know, man. It's not looking good for Philly. Uh, Jordan, how do you feel? Because you uh, you had some strong thoughts about Jalen Hurts in the last couple episodes. I don't know. You guys I have strong would... thoughts towards black quarterbacks, but this one's I got strong thoughts towards every quarterback. Better black. You... Uh, when you can't touch push your weight on the field, kind of. Kind of makes it hard to win. He had the flu. I don't give a fuck what he had. He if you're six, stay home. <laughs> he scored a touchdown. Hey, yeah. in that pick, my dude's foot wasn't in. He hit that dude's leg. I don't think his toe ever touched the ground. I'm going to just go ahead and say it. It was a terrible pass, but. I didn't really watch the game. I seen a tweet that a lot of people said uh, the last pick of the game was P.I., like very blatantly. I, I mean, I wouldn't care worried about the P.I. The big argument was, did he get in? And I don't think he got in because he hit the dude's leg as he was going out of bounds, and that foot never touched. So he only had one foot in, in my opinion. But I'm not a ref. But most of them are trash anyways. Derek, did you watch the game last night? Uh, A little bit while I was playing Call of Duty. Yeah. I mean, looked up every now. I really thought while watching, I'm like, the Eagles are going to win. I, like, turned it off, like, halfway through the third. Mm -hmm. Little did I know that the Seahawks and Drew Locke was going to buckle it up. Whip their cock out and fucking smack it across their face. Oh damn! That was a dot though that he threw to JSN. Though. I don't like when I don't. Who came up with that? Do you guys know who's the, the first? Uh, yeah, who's the first like corner DB to like just do the seatbelt shit? Who is just really annoying as a corner? Let's uh, I think it was probably like some dude in college. Maybe. Oh okay. Like NFL kids. It's low key a fire. I like it. It's a fire celebration. The seatbelt. Yeah. It's getting old now. Yeah, because everyone's using it. It's getting old. Like once I seen. Uh, but like, if one player had it, it would be, it'd be badass. Like it's cooler Hopkins. than that. Yeah, that's bad because those cooler, guys do it when the ball's on that. the other side of the field. Though, like, dude will get toasted and the quarterback <laughs> overthrow him, and they'll be in a corner like. It's yeah. like, bitch, you weren't even in the frame. <laughs> the, dude, the corner will fall, and the quarterback will throw it over the receiver's head. <laughs> and the over there, the like, corner will stand up like, nope, bro, you weren't even in the frame. <laughs> But um, did you see, you remember when DeAndre Hopkins did it? When Will Levis almost threw a pick and he swatted the ball down and then he put he the seatbelt seat belt on? <laughs> no, I did not see that. Terrible. No, that that's was funny. Terrible. That, that's when it's funny, though. So, um, did you guys see Will Levis's injury? Yeah, that was bad. At the end of the, bro, it looked like he was dead. Yeah. And they said it was just a leg injury. Like, he didn't even get evaluated for a concussion. He was laying on the pile, fucking unconscious, dead. <laughs> Maybe he was just like, he sprained his ankle. Didn't he get folded by his ankle sprain or something? Didn't his legs get folded underneath? Same thing as thing. He yeah, he was I'm just like laying back. Like I was thinking, it looked the, so crazy. The Keaton Mitchell injury. Ah man, that's yeah, that bad. was that was He's disgusting. Out for the yeah, that was bad. yeah. He tore his ACL. Tore an ACL. As soon as I seen it, I was like, "Yep, that's an ACL." Your knees are not supposed to go that way. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was pretty disgusting. I was watching that game with my wife, and I was like, "Yeah, that's a torn ACL." She's like, "How do you know?" I was like. When you plant one way and your knee goes the opposite direction, that is an ACL yeah, it's injury. No, what if he like just walked it off? They said he's what a would you do? dog. <laughs> what would you do if he dog. like went back out there and just started getting? They said he's lucky it was just an year. ACL. <laughs> <laughs> they said he was lucky that it was just an ACL because it could have been a combination of like five different tendons tearing. As of right now, who do you think the comeback player of the year is? Bro, it's not DeMar Hamlin. He's minus 500 right now. It's not Stop. him. Second place, second place right now, Joe Flacco plus 900. He doesn't even dress. I'm going to keep it real with you. You can clip this for TikTok. I don't care how mad people get. DeMar Hamlin does not deserve comeback player of the year. I get it. The story is amazing. He came back, but like, look, he didn't do anything when he came I back. I agree. Though. 
Like, I understand he came back. You can still cool. bet Aaron Rodgers plus 12,000. I, I honestly, I think, and I'm not even being a homer, Joe Flacco definitely deserves it right now. Like It's plus 900. And if Aaron Rodgers comes back and let's say he wins two games? No, bro, not two. Bro, he came back the same I, season yeah, from you come an back Achilles injury. the same injury. season from tearing your Achilles, then you definitely deserve it. He would have to, like, um, throw 303 touchdowns no. in both those games. He, he can't throw, just he go out throw, there and throw 150 he could, in one. He could go out there and throw 150 games and two touchdowns. 150 games. In, or 150 <laughs> yards and two touchdowns. In both games, and he absolutely I, deserves it. He out. tore his I fucking disagree. Achilles. I, I, I agree, but I don't agree that he's going to come Player of the year, year. That's like a year worth. of Yeah, he tore his one Achilles whole this year. year. I know, but like he, if the whole he left thing and came back the in the same season year. for the whole season, bro. Yeah, Joe Flacco what, deserves it more than a rod I get what you're saying, and I don't disagree with your logic. But the fact that he came back within the same that's great. seventeen games, you don't deserve an award for it. Sorry. Ah. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I'm sorry. If because because there's not enough games. If there was like five, six games and he played them all, yes. He's medically cleared. Two games? No. He could play three more. He could play three games. Who? Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. Rodgers. Oh. This is you can tell this guy listening. Who? <laughs> but I think for comeback play of the year, I don't know if Jordan's looking it up. It's Damar, Joe Flacco, Baker, and Matt Stafford are like the top four that you could vote I on. I know Russell Wilson oh, is in Baker's there. Or, or yeah, maybe, maybe it's Russ actually. Hey. Who did you say? Baker, Baker, okay. yeah, he's had a good season. Do you know who? Do you know how many tackles Lamar or Demar Hamlin has? Four. None. Does he have as many as Devin Bush? One. I was close. Two. Bro, he's probably played. He has two tackles and he's played four games. I'm about to say he's probably played three total possessions. Four games. Yeah, two tackles. But he died last year and now he's playing. I feel you. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna though. do the Aaron Rodgers thing with you guys, kinda. He died, but now he's playing. Got to give it to him. I think just because he died and came back. That was last year. But he died. But it was last year. But it's comeback player of the year, and he died last year. He did it last year, but then he. Was, <laughs> you see he what was, I mean? I was, but he that's was back what I'm last doing. year. He was in the. He was in up in the booth last but year. But he wasn't playing. Bro, that ain't him. Shut <laughs> up, man. <laughs> Shut up. Listen. All right. Anyways, we can we can move on. I, but real quick, I just think true. Uh, like, you know, he was offsides to lose the game. Jesus Christ, he oh. was. Demar, Demar? on like a kick on like a field goal or something. They missed it. He was offsides. So that negates his. They got another he kick. They win. got another kick. He made it. They should not win it. Then he lost him. You didn't game. see that meme? No. You didn't see the meme? No. Oh my god. This dude lost him. It was the a game. little yes. It was the little girl who said, "I wish you were dead." No. Oh my <laughs> god. Hey yo. She, that's what everybody was like when they when everybody find all Bills fans find out. Look, Demar Hamlin was the one that was offsides. That's no terrible. way. Or maybe I did that. see that now that you say it. I, okay. Oh my God. All right. Yeah. Let's definitely move on. This is getting way too fucking dicey for me, real quick. Um, all right, boys. I have a question for you guys. Fuck you. What do you think is the greatest what if in your team's history? You already got yours? I like it. Go. I already got mine. Too. You got yours too? Perfect. I got mine. Would have been a top three, top five wide receiver of all time if he could stay off. The weed. Okay. Josh Gordon. Josh that's, Gordon that's, staying I think off that's the, the weed. biggest that's what if. That's your what if? Like, just that person? That person. Or, okay, okay. Or okay. I guess you can go to the Broncos with the fumble. I would say mine's the a drive. person, too. But it could be the drive. But I think I might know what yours is. Like, oh, it could, I, I have a person and a thing. A See, moment. I guess I could have two moments. The drive against <laughs> the Broncos. I already know what his is. <laughs> the drive against the Broncos, but I wasn't alive to see it. I don't think you did. And the other one was against the Chiefs, where Sorensen, helmet to helmet, helmet, on Higgins, should have been called. And then that does change Chad Henney whipped trajectory. his dick out on us. Like, that's a big what if. That like, he just didn't get that one, that one first down. So, oh. all right, Jordan. My what if was uh, Ryan Shazier. Yeah. Like, what, what if, if he, he never? What if he didn't? If he didn't send that DM, didn't tackle with his head down. <laughs> no. Oh, bro. I thought you were talking about that risky DM. <laughs> no. What is it? The art of anal. <laughs> that was, that what he DM, said? That was a book. Like that. Yeah. No, but he sent the DM though of a book. Wasn't that DMs or was it, it was text? text? It was straight text. He wasn't Type hiding text. shit. All right. So wow. Shazier never, uh, never level. broke his back. You know. Damn. Yeah. I'm dead ass. You remember where you were? In the that best moment? line. Best linebacker. Huh? Yeah, I was at my house on my couch in the same spot that I watch all the games. Do you remember where you were? Yep. Uh, our living room was set up differently than it is now, but I was sitting on the couch and I looked and I went, well, that's not fucking good. And that was it. 
I was actually at the hospital. That's why I remember it. Like, and then so I saw his fucking hands doing this, fucking like when Tua got his concussion. And I was <laughs> you like, got it, chill. It was yeah. way worse. This is no good. Yeah. I literally it said bad. when it happened, like I was laying, I was at the hospital because we had just had DJ. So I'm like laying on the ground watching the Bengals game and uh, he hit him and I saw him like just stiffen as a board and hit the ground. I go, oh, he's paralyzed. Like that was exactly what right. I said. And like, you know, how you just say shit like that, Come but on, you LeBron. didn't think it was true. I was about to say that's a real LeBron, LeBron statement. <laughs> Bro. Oh yeah, I knew he was paralyzed. No, yeah, I, I didn't know. Really really like, oh yeah, no, I, I wasn't that, saying that's it. ACL for sure. I wasn't saying it like seriously though. Like I was just like throwing it out there, like oh bro, he's paralyzed. And then when he really was the next day, I'm like oh my god, I was fucking around. Like you ain't never said that before. Like, a dude, yeah, like bro, we're up. kidding, relax. No, but I'm saying like <laughs> we, uh, yeah, yeah, we understand. You said relax, I'm getting mad. I'm laughing with you. I know. I'm just saying. All right, what's your moment? What's the biggest takeaway from that book you've been reading that the bookmarks on page five? <laughs> I'll read past page five. <laughs> <laughs> he was a great um, dude, huh? Ah, shit. Yeah, how you gonna have yours and now you are shit? Because I got it? three for real. Lame, yeah, I had. I'll three take one of them. Okay. What is greatest what is moments, James guys? Not okay. greatest moments. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, a uh, moment is not a player. True. That was his, not mine. You ain't gotta attack me. Yeah, my what if was a my <laughs> what, what if was a person, right? And, and so was his. And two moments. Well, mine yeah. was also a moment, though. Like, that was a moment well, it's that he... Well, actually, it's greatest what if, technically. So. Yeah, like, what Never, if oh, okay. that moment right. didn't happen. Okay. Yeah, it it's actually whatever. the greatest what if in your team. Okay, system. what if Jesse James caught it? Because okay. he did. In the playoffs. Okay. Okay. I'm supporting it. No, because then we go to the Super Bowl. Because that the team refs, was insane. What if the refs called it right? Yes. That's what you can... Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. But um, it was not a catch. And then I have... Obviously, I, got, I have... Same as his, like, Chazier. I also have. What if Le'Veon Bell just would have showed up? Mm. Top two, three linebacker or running back in the league. Oh yeah, and just doesn't want to agree to a contract. Childhood sits then, out for a and season then and then takes then dies. less money. What if AB didn't go crazy? <laughs> Best wide receiver ever. What if Mendenhall would have kept onto the ball and didn't fumble? Oh god. Yeah, I don't even want to talk about him. <laughs> oh, we go talk about him. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, it might really be AB. Like, what if AB didn't get hit by a perfect like that? I don't think that's what caused it. I think that, Bro, like, that might. I think it's so, like, that it, might it made it come out. It yeah, it like <laughs> ignited it. it. Like, it's been in there the whole time, and that, like, started the There engine. was, like, a little lock on it, but perfect. Just perfect knocked that bitch off. The ignition, bro. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Dude, imagine. He'd be. He, I. No, I don't. I almost I don't agree like with that. guarantee. Well, I don't disagree with that. that. I almost guarantee that he goes down as wide receiver one. I would overall. say I would say two, one or two. Uh, Jerry, you're right there. He Jerry was on pace. Stat, Jerry's stats are just insane, but I'm not disagreeing. And AB with you. was on pace. He was. That's it, crazy. AB was going. Um, my greatest what if in Browns history involves two quarterbacks. My first one, 2004. What if we draft Ben Roethlisberger instead of Kellen Winslow? That changes the entire trajectory of the entire Steelers franchise and ours. What if we draft Big Ben in 2004? Then he would have been a bust because oh, that, you can't hey, develop players. That's fine. It's crazy. You remember 2004. Um, how old were you? Who else was in that? 23. Draft? How old were you? 23. In 2004? Oh, I was four then. That's I thought what you I were saying. How old are you now? I said, how old were you? So oh, you I, said, how old are you? I, hey, listen, you should be at fucking Harvard because the fact that you knew about player development at four years old is amazing to me. No, um, looking but, back on it now, <laughs> Big Ben just would have been nothing. Perfect. But so would you guys because who would be your quarterback? Uh, who was your quarterback before Big Ben? Is it Tommy Maddox? Yeah. I wasn't old enough to remember that. Oh, but you can remember our player <laughs> development, though. <laughs> I'm um, saying looking back on it. And then to give a second one, and let's just say we drafted Big Ben in 2004 instead of Kellen Winslow. 2017, what if we decide to draft Patrick Mahomes instead of Miles Garrett? Miles Garrett went first overall. Patrick Mahomes was, I, I feel think, like 10th or 11th. There's a lot of those what if drafts. Oh, yeah. but that's the thing. We have historically missed on quarterbacks. So <laughs> our what ifs have to is be the quarterback. quarterback. Really Joe really. Flacco is leading us to the playoffs right yeah. now. Our quarterback position is the biggest what if. Right. But in. That defense, like Ben wasn't supposed to be this crazy right. quarterback. That's why he went all the way till 10. He went to Miami of Ohio. But it was I also mean, talked about him I think overall, you guys, It was I, talked about him going to Cleveland, though, still. I think you, yeah, just because he's from there, Ohio. 
Yeah, and he was on the Browns draft. Well, that's board, what I'm so. saying. Like five or six more people went before Ben even went. Yeah. Right. But, but yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. I think you guys probably like had your eyes on Eli or Phillip, yeah. and then they both went, and then it was just like, fuck it, let's just take Kellen Winslow then. It's crazy how it played out, though. The draft. The Eli, because... Oh, yeah, because he said no? Yeah. <laughs> and then they had the trade? Yep. Yeah, so my greatest what if is if we would have drafted Big Ben instead of Kellen Winslow. I'm trying to see who the next quarterback was after Ben. Yeah, I looked at it yesterday. I don't remember. Oh, like drafted after him? J.P. Lawsman. I don't even know who that is. He went 22nd to Buffalo. Um, Matthew. But I, I feel like saying what if on uh, Pat Mahomes to the Browns, though. It's the same thing as the argument, like, what if the Bears would have drafted him? He wouldn't have been anything special on the Bears. In 2017, we had a good team. That you can't draft. say that he wouldn't be anything special. He wouldn't you don't be know. Pat, he wouldn't be the Pat Mahomes you know? we know today. He, you know? I think don't know, but how do you know, how do you know he would have been? You're pretty much I, saying I Patrick Mahomes Neither is one of us do. We're just throwing of, shit at the wall and seeing what sticks, like, really. We're not. You are. Do you know what you're saying? You don't know either. I don't know. Neither do you. No, you, neither one of us know. But exactly, you just said so you know. you can't say it. But do you know what you're saying? But you can't say that you do either. I don't. I never said I do know. I didn't say I did either. Yes, you did. No, I just said I don't think that he would be anything special. Exactly. I think he would. Okay. Okay. I agree to disagree with but you. But like, I, I think that's a you shitty are, argument. I think you. Do you think Patrick Mahomes is a good quarterback? Yeah, I think he's a do great think, quarterback. No, do you think, think he? Do you think he's a system quarterback? I think that the system helps him thrive. Yes. Uh, because when you say he wouldn't be good on this team, this team, this team, this is the third time I've heard you say that. I think you're giving Andy Reid Patrick Mahomes credit, and I think you're like discrediting Patrick Mahomes' talent. I think it's very 50 50 in terms of how his career has played out. I don't, I don't think it's all Pat Mahomes. Like, you could put him with any coach and he's going to be good. Not absolutely not. Like, okay, obviously, you give him Matt Eber You probably. put him on the fucking Steelers and we'll drive him into the ground, dude. No, like, you yes. can't. Listen, you can drop a what? bad play, but Patrick Mahomes thrives on like broken plays, extending plays with his legs, throwing yeah. people open. That's not play call. When the play is dead and the receiver's routes are over with and he's five yards outside of the pocket on the sideline throwing passes damn near on the ground, completely horizontal, that wasn't Andy Reid's draw up. That no, wasn't that, Eric. I mean, I mean that's not, fine. Yeah, Eric B. Enemy. Like, you give them way too much credit for who Patrick Mahomes is because a lot of those plays are because of him literally getting out of the pocket, extending the play. Those receivers' routes are done by the time he makes these plays. The play's yeah. dead. It's now backyard football a lot of times. How many times do we see Patrick Mahomes make backyard football plays that the play is done? A lot, but I think their playbook That's also the has plays been. designed for like a lot of wide receiver option routes, a lot of different shit like that. Travis Kelsey's whole playbook is, hey, you're going to run straight, but if you find a zone, just sit there. Yeah, for sure. That's what 90% of Mahomes' passes are. And he mm. says, just sit there. He's got to find that spot, and he's got to find out where he's going to sit. Yeah, but You think he knows where he's going to sit? That ain't Andy Reid. No, he just looks at him. Yeah, but that ain't Andy Reid, though. Andy You're Reed sitting looking. there. Yeah, Andy Reid. Like, Pat, he's, right there. He's, he's there. Got, <laughs> he's got foggy glasses. He can't see shit. <laughs> I don't think that Pat Mahomes would be the gener generational player that he is if he got drafted to the, t to the Chicago Bears. Well, I do. Well, we're talking about the Browns, um, not the Bears. But you give him— I don't him think he would have been on the Jar Bears. Hey, or you the give Browns him either. Nick Chubb, Jarvis— OBJ. A great O line. A, a great o All the time in the world. In 2018, 2019, we had the best offensive line in the NFL. You give him all of that, you fucking tell me he wouldn't be as good as he was on the Chiefs. You are fucking no. high. We just, Stay off the weed. Okay. I mean, we've seen you guys turn generational talents into nobodies in a year. Johnny Manziel? Johnny Manziel with no fucking generational <laughs> talent? Get the fuck out of here. Baker Mayfield, you guys move. hated him. We generational? Hated him, bro. No, he's not was, a generational talent, but you guys <laughs> hated Baker Mayfield. Hey, you said generational talent. Drove him into the ground. Baker, your second. Man. Drove him into the ground. He goes to the hey, fucking Bucks, and he's having hey, a the Browns damn good ruined game. generational talent. Johnny Manziel and Baker Mayfield. <laughs> <laughs> Derek, if this don't hit fucking TikTok, I will fucking choke you with my bare hands. This cat is crazy. Listen, I mean, Johnny Baker Manziel was picked twenty two, so it's not right. like he was hyped up. Baker was one, and people shit on that pick. Baker they said was one. We Made a mistake. Johnny was 22, and a lot of people wanted Johnny, but they just didn't know because of the off-field issues. Listen, and then I, Johnny didn't pan out anywhere. He couldn't even pan out in the fucking arena football league. Like, <laughs> it's not. If he was a generational talent in an arena football league, that dude should fucking been an MVP no, over and over. He, he said it himself. Anything. He said, "No matter, no matter where I got drafted at, I wouldn't have been shit." 
Yeah, he, he was didn't too care. Bu- he was too busy partying and fucking blowing coke, bro. He did, he, the he playbook said he thing. He was burnt out. The he playbook didn't want to play. He didn't want to play. It don't play. matter if he went to fucking Pittsburgh, the bro. The tape? Remember the tape or the, the book with the playbook? He didn't Zero even look at it at all. hours. They said you didn't watch any tape when I had my dude went like this in a documentary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you so. are crazy. You are crazy. <laughs> it's not like he was committed and like we just made him look like dog shit. All right, bad. I got one more. Even thing Baker, though, like he played good at the beginning. You yeah. know, run him into the ground. Yeah, we didn't. Well, like, he got Kevin, one offensive rookie of the year. Kevin he Stefanski, played, Stefanski ran him into the ground, ground after when we got hurt. hurt. I wouldn't even he, say I, that's the only thing I don't like Kevin it. about. Yeah, no, because he didn't want him. Yeah, I wouldn't even say he ran him into the ground though. Did he ruin his like time Season? in Cleveland at the end? Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. but like. Listen, Baker's playing great. Shout out to Baker. He had an amazing game last week. Like, I look at him, and that's like your ex-girlfriend finally hitting the gym after you guys broke up. you like, where the fuck was that at nah. when you were with me? But it's like, I'm not hey, happy for her if she does that. I'm happy for Baker, though. I'm not happy for her if she does But it makes you <laughs> envious, is what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Like, don't you wish like, Baker I wish was our quarterback was doing right that now? For me. Yeah, yeah, our last TikTok. You said you could take anybody. I wish you would take Baker. with me. Yeah. All right, man. I have a question for you, and then we can move to the topic. I have a question for you, because you, you were a coach. The Detroit Pistons have 24 straight losses. What do you go in a locker room and say to them after the 24th loss? Or what are you saying to them next game? Like, what, what are you doing after 24 consecutive losses? How do you rally them? I don't know. <laughs> I, I never experienced that. I don't know. 24 straight losses. How do you look at grown ass men and be like, hey, guys, we'll get them next time? <laughs> 24 times you in a row. You gotta give them the silent treatment. You go ignore them? Don't say shit. You Don't even go trash. in the locker room. You just leave it? Just walk in, just look at them, and just walk back out. If I'm, if Monty Williams is their head coach, right? Mm-hmm. I might step down. I don't want this on my resume. That's a stain that you can't get off, bro. Like, don't get me wrong. Some of those losses went back to last season. I'm gonna have good. Kevin Garnett come in there. And talk to them. <laughs> hey, he yeah. trash ass is coming <laughs> right out the gate. Hey, immediately. <laughs> with Derek, what, what would you say? I don't, you got experience I don't. with a lot of losses. <laughs> I wasn't the coach, though, I guess. Yeah. How did you feel? I felt like you don't want to fucking play. That's probably how they yeah, feel, bro. Like, like, you want to get the want, backstory wanna, real quick of why we said you wanna, have a... Uh, a lot of experience with losing. I went one and nine my junior year <laughs> football, and then zero and ten my senior year. <laughs> so, listen, the Browns. <laughs> so listen, so listen. I don't want to glaze myself to the where same years too to say where I was like glaze good, yourself. right? But it wasn't my fault that we were losing. So like when you're still a good player and you're still losing and watching your team lose, it fucking sucks. Because hey, you're, you're like, what else them? can I do? Hey, he's looking at them like y'all niggas is trash. Help me! I, mean, I can't throw the ball to myself. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I mean, uh, you can't say anything. Like, you can yell at them, but, like, you can't make them want to play and play better. Like, <laughs> I just put in my two weeks. All right, so, Jordan, you've been at the top of the leaderboard in every Call of Duty game in search. <laughs> <You> <laughs> got- <laughs> like how you're correlating all this to everyone. Well, you know. <laughs> I know, I know, but it's. I mean. The Call of Duty thing I thought was. I feel like <laughs> after, like, five to seven losses, you know, you're yelling at them. You're really trying to get them to their skin. 24. You probably just walk in and go. No good. <sighs> Another one tomorrow? <laughs> like, By the way, if you would have bet $100 at the start of their streak and kept rolling it over, betting on the opposing team every game, money line, you'd be up over $133,000. Uh, listen, I think we should start it now. What, uh, they going to keep losing? No, They'll win yeah. the next game. Uh, the Cavs had, what, 26? Probably. At least and like 26, yeah. yeah. 11 or something? Kyrie's rookie year, maybe? Or was it right before Kyrie's rookie year? It was how they got Kyrie, I think. 2011 then, right? Yeah, it was the 2011-2012 season. Yeah, okay. Or 2012-2012. No, 2011-2012. I'm, right. sure I'm pretty sure I was there. Damn, for real. When they lost like the 26th game in a row. You were at the game? Yeah. You're like, damn. Yeah, tickets were probably like 45 nah, cents. I think they played the Bulls. Oh, like, oh. oh so you were hyped. Though. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I wasn't like too hyped. I f- it was like, uh, we should win this. You like Drew Kim Noah played all right. I think we should uh, experiment with this. I think we should just, a couple bucks. Let's just start with a couple bucks and just, just keep betting the other roll, team money. Roll on. it over. Just, they're they're going to lose eventually. Or they're going to win. Yeah, but you start so small. Then, like, if they win the second game, we lost. You're like going to be pissed. Let's start Cunningham after they puts win. Up 50. 
What if they don't? They're going to win like the next one or two. I cannot. Okay, let me look at their schedule real quick. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at their schedule real quick, and we're going to we're gonna a social experiment. We are going to bet against the Detroit Pistons. I already business. have it if you want okay, to. Okay, they play the Jazz, the Nets, the Nets, the Celtics, the Raptors, the Rockets. They're going to beat the, either the Jazz or the Nets. I'm going to keep real with you, bro. They're they going to play the Nets back-to-back. Back. They'll, they'll win one, lose one probably. I'm putting my bet down yeah. right now. Back-to-back. Back. But it is on three different... Don't do it, blood death. Three days. Well, I only have a dollar in my account, so I'm just gonna bet this dollar. I had. A You're run. betting right now. I'm betting right now that they're just gonna lose to the. I'm just gonna take the money. Jazz line. Thursday. Talking about white dog shit. Another guy that might think people are white dog shit is Rashard Mendenhall. What right? a segue. So, the black bowl. <laughs> take it away. All right, guys. We are here for the inaugural first annual blacks versus white. Pro Bowl. Rashard Mendenhall said, I'm sick of all of these non-athletic white boys talking about us athletes. We need to have a whites versus black bowl. And I'm here for it. You know what I think, too? I think Will Compton should be the white head coach and Mendenhall should be the black head coach. No, That's a bro. great idea. Because they came up with the ideas, basically. So I think they have to be the head coach. I like it. Kind of like how the Pro Bowl had like Deion Sanders and like Jerry Rice like draft. You know, their teams, yeah. they should do it like that. Rashard Mendenhall should be toting the water. <laughs> well, Why? Hope he don't drop it on the way to the sideline. <laughs> I wanted to he's say that, bum. but I didn't want to start shit. shit with you guys. Oh, don't come in here talking to me about blah, blah, blah. Dude, you suck. <laughs> Rashard Mendenhall sucks. <laughs> did you? Did he you, couldn't you, hold Christian McCaffrey's jock strap. Oh, God. Did you see him on Twitter? He's like, this is me. It's holding up the Super Bowl trophy in the next, like, <laughs> under it is the oh, video of him God, fumbling. Somebody him fumbling. fumbling. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was like, right underneath it. Bro, <laughs> this is also you. Somebody commented that bro said, and it was Kelsey Plum <laughs> holding that real small trophy when she won like the three point cut. Bro, that bitch was like this. Like DJ has a trophy bigger than that, bro, and he's six. She was holding that bitch like this, and they said, bro said. <laughs> All right, Derek. So, how do you want to do this? What are, what are we doing for the blacks versus the whites bowl? So we have a graphic. You just look at it, and then you give your own opinion on it. Of, who should not be on there? Who should be on there? Who, who do you think is going to win? Yeah. Okay. So basically just talk about it. I okay. Mean, real quick, before we even see anybody on each team or even select teams, just going off, off a limb, who's winning? The white team. I like it. Jordan. The black team. Matthew. Ty. <laughs> okay. Overtime thriller just doesn't the clock hit zeros. I mean, listen, if it comes down to kicking, we're at a disadvantage. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Facts. All right. I thought about it, and I was like, damn, we're going to have to I didn't, call I didn't, didn't factor kickers in. It might be uh, might be the white team. But listen, though, <laughs> we we have some answers for that. But let's let's go to the graphic real quick, and I'm looking at uh, these whites versus blacks. We got <laughs> we to gotta insert the clip that I sent you guys earlier of fucking of, uh, young, young Hoku. Yeah. <laughs> On the fucking Looking around the sideline. Listen, no, I'm, no. <laughs> they said to him on the all black team. You gotta watch the video. I, I watched it. Um, so I'm gonna be honest. Oh yeah, and Nick Bosa. Yeah, I forgot he's like mad racist. So absolutely, yeah, you got both. Bosa they had brothers. a dude from American History X with the swastika on his chest, walking tough as fuck. And they said, yeah, I sent that to you guys. Nick Bosa walking into the first annual Black versus White Bowl. Um, quick disclaimer before we get uh, in depth into this conversation, guys. We are not racist. Nah. We are simply just prejudice. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we are here having fun, okay? The internet's having fun with it. And for that guy on YouTube that says, oh, I saw this on a different podcast, come up with original content. Hey, shut the fuck up, nigga. All right? Sometimes, I told, like, bro, when you see shit, what do you do? You send it to your group chat. You guys talk about it, right? Yeah. Excuse me, our group chat is recorded. What does first on take do? Exactly. What does undisputed do? Right. Sorry our group <laughs> chat is recorded. <laughs> Get a better group chat, fucking bot. Anyways, <laughs> not maybe, everybody should have a podcast. I know I hate that too. Not everybody <laughs> deserves a comment. Um, all right, so I'm still. Um, I'm gonna start this off by saying Max Crosby is playing for the black team. No. Ah, no way. No. Yes, he is. Well, no. Why? <laughs> then we get Puka Nakua. Deal. And Patrick Mahomes. We about to do a racial draft. You whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait one goddamn minute, Rondell. You are not getting he Patrick sounds, Mahomes. Yeah, we're getting Patrick Mahomes just because though. he sounds like Kermit. Kermit's green. First off, so you can't even say he sounds. And he's white too. That's what you're going to do. He's white. You can't get Patrick. Why? All right. You, Why guys you, get keep, Max? you guys keep Max and we'll keep Patrick. Fine. All right. Fine. It's you not got a trade Lamar. we're going to make. 
Listen, Lamar is not my number one. Half seas don't count. Lamar's <laughs> half seas don't count. That's what Will Compton said. He said, "Well, he, he said, said if he they said the say half, half seas should go on." <laughs> he said, "Half people that are half and half. If you say the word, you're on the other side. You're on the black team. Listen, I if play you Call don't of Duty. say the word, you're on the white team. Call, then, I play Call of Duty. White people say the N word. Patrick Mahomes says it. Simple." I've never heard him say it, but I could be wrong. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna lie; I haven't heard. Like Pat he had say that it whole tirade against the refs, and I didn't see one N word come out because he wasn't talking to a nigga. Ah, I got you there. You didn't yep. say a word. Ah. Yeah. All right, so quarterbacks, the white team. Who are you taking? Who are you In guys general? taking? Like it, it could. It doesn't even have to be Joe or. Josh Allen. It could be anybody. Well, if that's the trade we're making, then Pat Mahomes. You're not making a trade <laughs> with Patrick Mahomes. We propose a trade. Um, well, I, you want a kicker? I think you got to go with Burrow. Burrow. Yeah, I think you got to go with Burrow. I'm taking Burrow. I mean, but then Allen. again, Allen, bro, I'm taking Josh Allen just because he can run. We're gonna need it. Yeah, but with them DBs, bro, and you're throwing to white guys on the ends. Like I know Cooper. We're Krebs gonna need amazing. to move the ball. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean. I don't mind it. It's your team. If they can, if okay, I know Cooper Cup will be able to. get... What if other cats can't get open? Joe Facts. Burrow is just like, fuck. Yeah, you got three of the best DBs in the league guarding three white guys. Josh Allen might have to run. We're gonna play power football here. Wing T. We got yeah, dude. I mean, we got we got uh, we got a great running back. We have an insane line. That's true. Yeah. And then you have big ass Josh Allen. You might as well call Hut and just run. Okay, I'm not mad at it. I get it. I'm with you. Run yeah. right at Miles Garrett. Who, who you right. got? <laughs> Probably Josh Allen. Okay, Josh Allen at QB. Uh, am I allowed to go for the blacks? Uh, yeah. Or are we just doing all white? Right no, now? you're a part of the black team. Okay. Sorry. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, I'm being honest. Lamar is not my QB one. Uh, I'm going Patrick Mahomes is my QB one. Denied. You can't have him. Denied. He is black, bro. But he's also white. For sure. Given. Hold on. So what are we not understanding? What do you mean? He is white and black. Yeah, for sure. So we're taking him. No. Yeah. yeah have you seen that man's dad? Have, have you seen, you seen his, his mom? mom? Have you guys? No. Yeah. <laughs> Look, you have him, bitch. No, you have him. His dad ghetto as fuck, bro. Have you seen his mom? No. She's probably pasty with red hair. <laughs> she doesn't. <laughs> I think half he shouldn't count. That's not fair. Why? He, he's got a white wife and white kids. That don't mean I so do You're I. Half white, Y'all call me ghetto all the time. Half white, we half black. We also call you Brian Gumble. Y'all niggas racist. Or should we give a salary cap? I'm to staying team? out of this conversation. Patrick Mahomes is our quarterback. All right. Hey, I did serious not. question. Is CJ Stroud mixed? I don't know. I'm not sure. Or is he just real light skin? I'm not sure. So I was looking at the graphic and wondering like. Jordan Poyer, is he mixed too? Jordan, Jordan Poyer is really close. He's yeah. got to be mixed. He I is, think he's he is. Mixed, to be but this dude's got like blue eyes and like, he, he just That's looks, what he's mean. super he, close, he bro. He looks like a white dude. Like, with just slightly, he looks like logic. Yeah, he looks, he looks, <laughs> go ahead and say it. He looks tinted. All right, so if I can't have Patrick Mahomes, <laughs> just that is crazy. I got 20% tint. <laughs> oh slight, my just slight, God. slight tint. <laughs> All right. Well, if I can have Patrick Mahomes, um, I will go with Lamar Jackson and C.J. Stroud. Like, probably give me Lamar. Like one, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, you can have you know your backup. So if you guys starting Josh Allen, Joe Burrow's probably coming off the bench. I'm gonna go with Lamar, and then I'm going with C.J. Stroud as the backup, bro. I know Jalen Hurts is out there, Dak is out there. I like C.J. Stroud, bro. Anybody else you change? Yeah, his mom. I think his mom is also mixed. I think she's mixed, and then his dad's black. Okay, so he's like seventy five percent black. Yeah, you guys can have that one. But we have them for 25% of the offensive snaps, too. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. Running back. I mean, it's it's pretty self-explanatory. You guys are going with that running back. Who's his backup, though? Rex Burkhead? No, we're just going to interchange it with probably another receiver. Or You got Liard, Patrick Liard, something like that. From, Ricard? No, 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 no. Uh, running back oh, that okay. played for the Dolphins. I what also thought that you were trying to say Ricard. <laughs> no. Wow. Thought you were no, okay. no. Is there any other like white running backs in the league right now? It was like, like the Liard guy from or Lard. I don't know how you say his name from Miami. Just give me, Kyle, give me Kyle Use check and Patrick Ricard. Okay. Or you can just 
All three of them. I'm telling you, bro, we're playing power football. Run the Debo package with Barrios or fucking Renfro or something. Hunter Renfro, yeah. yeah. Okay, I like it. Uh, Nick Chubb is obviously our number one running back. Obviously, we're turning injuries off, right? Yeah, I mean. Okay, yeah. for the sake of the argument, injuries are off. Um, I'm going Nick Chubb. And then number two, I'm going to be honest, man. Is Nick Chubb going to be ready for the Pro Bowl? We turn injuries off. Mm. I'm going Jonathan Taylor. JT. John, dynamic. I like it. I think your receivers should stay the way they are. Unless you're going to take Stefan or... I'm, I'm being honest with you, bro. Do you Taking want a bit, him crying? CD? You taking CD? I wasn't. I, right now, I was looking at CD. Over Jamar? Over Jamar right now. Just right now, the way they're playing. If I had to take every snap that they've taken so far, it's Jamar. But this season, I feel like I got to go I gotta go CD. Who's your tight ends? All right, so my tight ends for me, uh, I'm taking David and Joku and Darren Waller. Okay. Darren Waller would be my tight end one, though, and, and Joku would be my tight end two. We ain't going to be able to block nobody with our tight ends, but we're not worried about that. You should be. No, we're not. Look at we're that. Not. Right. You, Lamar's in the backfield, bro. Talk about running. We good. Not when the Bosa brothers are hey, there. You know what Lamar's going to do? A la Matt, he's going to be running his black ass off. <laughs> All right, so receivers for you guys. I mean, there's not much you can do besides Cup, Thielen. You got Barrios and Renfro. Run but then other than that, you're stacked at tight end. Yeah, because if so I can't got, have Patrick Mahomes, you guys can't have Puka. Yeah, you got Kelsey, which could be another receiver. You got Laporta, the, another decent receiver. You got Kittle, that's going to block. Andrews, that's You guys got a lot of tight good, ends. Yeah. You got, got a lot of tight ends. Hawkinson. Hawkinson. Yeah. You guys Shit, got that Ferguson, like, Ferguson. 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 Fucking we got like six McBride tight ends. McBride from Arizona. McBride. McBride. Big yeah. Pat. We got about eight tight ends. Yeah, you guys, got all the, you guys got all the tight ends. You got the top yeah. five locked up. Bro, <laughs> I can't say nothing about that. We probably got eight tight ends. For real. Eight. Eight. Fifteen. <laughs> like, I'm saying like eight really good ones that'll make the team. That you don't even they care. They can play like receiver. Yeah. Over and over again. Yeah. Hawkinson could be a third receiver. That's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I, I kind of made a list Kelsey's on that Kelsey's a little one. slow, so he got to stay at the time. I mean, yeah. He's I mean, just going to sit a little older. You got Mark Andrews. Trey McBride is I mean. pretty much a receiver. Yep. Can we be honest? He doesn't block for shit. Agreed. He was torching our DPs. I mean, our DPs ain't that great, but he was one-on-one <laughs> killing them. He's been killing everybody's DBs. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like speaking, he's been going crazy. Speaking of DBs, let's skip the black teams. Uh, tight. Uh, go to the let, white let's guys? go to the white guys. The DBs. Who are you guys putting a DB? <sighs> the ones that are there, basically. I know Matt had one. Who Who's the other guy, Matt? That you wanted on there? Ethan Bonner. Ethan Bonner. Is Riley I mean, Moss the white dude from Denver, from Iowa? Yeah. yeah. Does he play? Yeah. 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 He plays. Okay. Yeah. And then we're taking another kid from Iowa straight out of college. Yeah, he's still currently there. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm not gonna he's lie in to the you. Combine, when I was thinking about yeah, kickers, I was in, I was sitting here googling, is there any black kickers in college? I'm like, we might have. To, there definitely was. You know, but... Team USA, they bring up a rookie or like yeah. a dude from college. I'm that's not going to bring up a kicker, bro. That's our rookie. Yeah, you're gonna have to have uh, what's his name, uh, Ju- uh, Justin Reed. Justin Reed, yeah. But or call Chad Johnson. But no, you know, you should call Destroying. Yeah, that cat's that nice. cat can kick, bro. You know what? But he's a YouTube kicker, so like we tag him. We need you. We need you for the blacks. Tag him. <laughs> we go tag him under this video. We need you for the blacks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tag him. I don't think you guys should. But I know McCaffrey's back there at, uh, at another safety. But you got Ashton Davis or Wingard with the Jaguars. That could you be. Got Wingard. That could be another safety. You but got uh, Harrison Smith, and then you got. Uh, yeah, he's there. Uh, Reed. Yeah, he's on. He's on there too. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. That's that's good. I don't know any of these white DBs. You know Harrison Smith. Shot Blankenship. A, he's a safety. Blankenship yeah. is Defensive on. Back. Well, the corners. Oh, okay. I don't yeah, know any of the corners. Well, yeah, we only got yeah, two. I mean, yeah, you're going to start putting safeties and strong safeties kind of in yeah, the corner like, there. I've buddy, never heard of these dudes. Buddy, we're playing cover four, nothing over the top. And the, de- <laughs> the, the, Bro, the that's defensive exactly what line is sending the crib. Our O line is cool, though. Like. Ah. Not Bro, just them. because they're out of position well, listen, don't mean they're not good. You look at look at the graphic on the on the white guys, right? Those two D tackles, Phillips and Sealer, probably gonna take them out. You're gonna take out. You're gonna leave in Watt and Crosby. Shit, you're gonna put in one of the Bosa brothers with them. I don't or like Hendrickson, how you. I don't like how you Hutchinson. got Hudson at uh center. Is that James Hudson? Yep. James Hudson ain't playing fucking center. He's not a center, but that's what someone had him at. So James Hudson is dog water. Bro, I've been watching that cat. He was on the for like five years. I, I know. know. He still is, ain't he? I might know. No, 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 no. Look him up. We have a lineman anymore. that's a Hudson right now. I don't think he's 
He might I'm be. pretty sure that's James Hudson, bro. He just came in the game. Oh, one he's game on the ago. Browns. Just I kidding. fucking told you, bro. I know. Just ball. kidding. Yeah, bro. The head cat ain't playing center. I'm gonna find somebody else. Actually, didn't he get a snap when uh, what's his name went down? Our center got hurt for like one play. Oh, Ethan Postage, and then well, he's hurt already. Yeah, there was somebody else that came in for him. Mm-hmm. Hudson played a couple games ago, bro. Yeah, it says he started four games this year. Yeah, he's played. Yeah, I think he played versus Steelers. Because I, I was know. talking shit, talking about oh, here come T.J. Watt about to have his fucking way with him again. Um, he started four games. He has one hold, five false starts. Yeah, he's oh a tackle. My God, yeah, he be he be trying not to get burnt. <laughs> He'd be getting toasted yeah. at center. What what position is Orlando Brown well, who play? You, listen. We're l- playing all four all four down linemen are standing up. And it's going to be Max Crosby, TJ Watt. And both Bosas. And both Bosas. It's cool. Or, and you can sub in Hendrickson and Hutchinson, too. Yeah. Bro, we, yeah. got, we got Ronnie Stanley and Trent Williams on the edges. Like, that. we all right. They can be tired because they old. Bro, can they get through a whole football game? Yeah. No. This is only one football game. It's not a seven-game series. Not when you have all pros coming at you back to back to Bro, back. Bro, it's a, legs. It, they, you act like they don't before. Yeah, but you got all you got you got four probably top eight edge rushers coming at you. Has Trent Williams ever played the Eagles D line? I tr- rest my case. Those yes. aren't four of the top ten edge rushers. <laughs> hey, t- that D line is the best D line in the league. It's close. It's the best D line in the league, so he blocking them. I think our I think our O line is okay. The problem. Wow. RDBs That's will your be biggest f- weakness. RDBs are fine as well. Uh, we got Sauce Gardner. Um, yeah, bro, you got fucking Jalen. Why Rams. do they have? Why is Micah Parsons at corner? Yeah, I don't know. You got he's certain. not. He's on outside. He's an outside well, linebacker. He's, an outside Kelsey's line. he's just he's just, he's just oh. covering Kelsey right My bad. now. He's not a real corner. Yeah, okay, me. I just didn't want to put him like not covering someone. Low key, I think Fred Warner's mixed too. Not Fred Warner's black. He's fully black. Look it up. And so I've seen a lot of safeties too. So who do you want at safety? Jordan Porter and Minka, or who nah, are your I safeties? Want, I want Minka and Derwin James. Okay. Yeah, I want Derwin James. I didn't see Derwin James on any of them. I think. That's. Fine. I think Justin Simmons was on there. Justin Simmons is good too. I like Derwin James. Um, your corners. I saw Denzel Ward there a couple times. Um, but and even the D tackles. Gonna... Uh, I don't want those two as D tackles either. Who would you rather have? Um, as my D tackles. Want... Which one? Um, for my D tackles, they have who's that? Dexter Lawrence and Fred Warner's Mexican. Yeah, black and Mexican. <laughs> That's hundred percent black. That's all, nigga. Um, D tackle. I want Chris Jones and Aaron Donald. Okay, yeah, I saw Aaron Donald on there, but a lot of people didn't have him for some reason because he's old. That's and like he probably not. you haven't heard his name this year, but he's still Aaron Donald. Yeah, who they got on there? Wilkins from Miami. Christian and Wilkins and Dex- is that Dexter Lawrence from Giants? Yes. I don't know, bro. I had Dexter at least have Quinn Williams in there, bro. I thought about Quinn and Williams, Williams instead of Aaron Williams. Oh, Quinn and Williams is good too. Yeah. But I'm taking Chris Jones over all of them. Chris Jones is the best D tackle, if you ask me. Yeah, Quinn Williams uh, is yeah. probably close I'm second. Probably playing Quinn and Williams in in uh, Chris Jones. Chris you Jones take him over Aaron Donald. Yeah, right this year. Yeah, uh, he's been going crazy. I mean, Quinn Williams is good as hell. I'm I'm not here to dispute that he is. And then linebackers, I was cool with Roquan Smith and Fred Warner. That's who I have for mine. Yeah. Dexter Lawrence out there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not D putting tackle. Dexter. So let's talk about kickers and punters. Let's talk special teams. This is where it gets a little scary. You got Justin Reed as your kicker and Presley Harvin. Presley uh, as your punter. Nope. I'm calling Marquette King back yeah, into the league. Yeah, I would nope. too. Nope. I you would think too. I'm fucking getting Who? Presley Harvin? Bro, that dude is good for one 20 yard punch. This is a the game. Pro Bowl, bro. You got to play. <laughs> like, Facts. It's the Pro Bowl. It's not like the all time whites versus the all time blacks. He's still current. He's, he's still a current agent. player. He's a free agent. We How do you signed, make the Pro Bowl? We were on our. Oh, this ain't on, a real Pro Bowl, bro. This is black versus whites, man. He was on our roster. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking Marquette King, bro. Pulling him straight out of the fucking gym right onto the field. And I guarantee he would be a better punter than Presley Harvin. And then nice. your kicker? My kicker? Justin Reed. Young Way Cook. Can't. He's yellow. Bro. What? Am I not allowed to say that? No. No. <laughs> I don't think so. No? <laughs> no, bro. <laughs> that well, might be another bleepable moment. That's all right. You're related to an Asian. It's okay. Oh, God. What the fuck you ain't? I don't think I ain't. I try to save him. All right. Um, <laughs> then our kicker <laughs> is Justin Reed. And then uh, our backup kicker is that like third string kicker from... Uh, well, he's not a kicker. He's a running back from the Titans that kicked in a field goal. I don't know what his name is. Just let Chad Johnson get the job, dude. I don't know. Chad. You, he, know, you bro, remember he kicked the extra point? You know what he's going to yeah, do, Yeah, but though? that was also like 15 years ago. Bro, he's going to say, 
put me in a receiver, or he's just gonna he's gonna pick up the ball when and the holder's run, holding it. And he's just gonna and run. Just run. It. He and said, "I ain't might. kicking this shit." He might. <laughs> oh uh, yeah, we can get Tristan Wirfs too. I'm pretty sure Tristan Wirfs is uh yep. Yeah, I don't know. He, he should looked, have been Matt on there. Is Tristan Wirfs mixed? Yeah, I don't know what he is. <laughs> he is light skinned Because I'm, I would take him over. Yeah, I'd definitely start him at your line. To be honest, for sure. Over, like I'm taking James Hudson out of there. Like he's getting the fuck out of. Who's your care. center? J- fuck Tristan Wirfs. I'll take yeah, anybody over James Hudson is a vast improvement. James Hudson is nah, garbage. His mom weight as shit. Is she? Yeah, still taking Tristan Wirfs. Bro, we can't have no mixed players too. Why can't we have mixed players? Who do y'all uh, want? He is a Pat. mixed you, okay. ethnicity. Okay, you can't. No, have bro, him. I'm taking a mixed corner. We need one good one. All right, you can take a mixed corner. Who y'all taking as a mixed corner? I don't know. Jordan, I Porter. gotta look. No, he's a safety. Put him in my corner. No, because we could just. All right, listen. Me, I know. How about this? Mix. We get Mika. I, I'll give you a deal. No. I'll give you a deal. For shizzle. I'm going to give you a black corner. For shizzle. All right. Who do you, you guys? Get? For Tristan Wirfs? For Tristan Wirfs. You guys can have DeMar Hamlin. No. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> we get Jalen Ramsey. Oh, man, get the fuck out of here. You got Sauce Gardner and Pat Sertain. He's not even... I, y'all, we're not giving you Jalen Ramsey. He's on the bench. He's behind him. All right, we'll get Jalen Ramsey and... What's his name? Joey Forgot Porter his name. Jr. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Take him. Yeah, absolutely. You can have him. And Jamal Adams. He sucks. It's okay. It's I, haven't better than Jamal, I haven't been a Jamal Adams fan. Let me get Denzel Ward. Nah. He's spicy. Y'all can get Greg Newsom. Why didn't hey, why do you guys hey. have Jordan Poyer up top with uh, Minka instead of like Derwin or what's where, all right? Where were you at he, when we talked he, about that? He fixed it. Jordan Poyer. Did you hear us nice talk about though. that? <laughs> what did you know Jordan, over there? Jordan Poyer is sweet though. He's doing shit. We had a whole conversation top. about yeah, that. <laughs> I don't remember. Hey, because yeah. I was because, thinking like, wouldn't Justin Simmons or like? Yeah, we talked. He Derwin wanted James, Derwin be James, and um. Who else? Derwin James and Minka. Yeah, that's who is that's who is safe. You're gonna for. need Derwin James to cover all the tight ends we got. I mean, him and Kelsey always have a good we're body. Kelsey always. We're running hands. three tight end sets with just Cooper Cup. Yeah, listen, I got DBs that can tackle. Yeah, this, ain't, this ain't the Browns DBs. Take I was just about that. Ask, One of my favorite Madden plays. Tight I was gonna end attack ask, every yeah. play. I was gonna ask you a serious question, like. Why is Denzel Ward scared to tackle? They don't he tackle. almost gave up the game. Bro, he's that dude running down the sidelines and he literally smacked him in the chest. Nah, that was Greg Newsom, and then fucking no, no, he no. passed Greg him Newsom off with Denzel com- Ward. Greg Newsom was coming this way. Denzel Ward was like standing on the out of bounds, and was just like, yeah, I think he was like thinking he in like, his head like he was gonna step out, so he was just like, yeah, go ahead, step out. Like he was just gonna give up to save fuck time. That, keep yeah. him in bounds. Listen, let the I've, clock run. I feel you. Trust me. If you think there was a second oh, of that game I'm, where I wasn't about to fucking shit my pants, but they like. They like replayed it and they were like, Yeah, not sure what uh Denzel Ward is doing here. He like smacked him in the chest. And Greg Newsom just stopped because I think he thought he was going out Give of bounds. Push him out. Yeah. But just push him out. Yeah, that was crazy. That, that was crazy. That like that was I was like, like Oh my god, they're letting him go. <laughs> Derek, and by the way, when we're having our game, keep your negative thoughts to yourself. Okay. Sorry. There is nothing worse than a person who is super negative at the end of the game. Like my son does it all the time. <laughs> I do. I know. I've I've literally put my son out of the living room. Listen, he's dad, he's dad. not gonna, he's not going to make this field goal. DJ, Listen, go to your room. That's my dad. Literally, Listen, immediately you, go to your room. The other team gets one catch. These guys fucking suck. Bro, I remember, <laughs> I'm remember like, hey, dad, shut the fuck that up. That playoff game when I was at the uh, birthday party, y'all yeah. made him leave because every time he left the room, y'all scored. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Like, I mean, I plan for the worst, hope for the best. So, like, if we do lose, I'm not going to be as pissed when we lose. If keep I it, tell myself, keep it up here. Don't text but when we win. I'm thrilled. Don't text me. Okay. All right. So I didn't one, text you directly. So let's go ahead and uh, put a cap on the blacks versus white bowl. So score, score prediction. I am taking the blacks, 42, 28. 28. I like it. 42, 28 blacks. So no field goals. What'd you say? So no field goals. We're going for it on fourth time. On fourth down every time. Fourth down. Yeah, we're going for it on fourth down every Matt. time. Oh, my score. Uh, oh, you guys never said your kicker and punter. Justin Tucker's your kicker. It don't matter. Who's your punter? <laughs> Any dude. <laughs> it don't matter. It don't matter anyway, dude. All right, coaching staff. Hold on. Uh, let me get Mike Tomlin. <laughs> <laughs> let me get Have fun. DC Brian Flores. Twenty-two, twenty-one. Who? Whites. Whites. Why people? Jordan. We're going for two. 
to win the game. It's picked by Sauce Gardner. It's not a that throw. That white guy it's can't n- jump. It's not a throw. Dog. At all. Miles Garrett literally kills Josh Allen on the two yard line with a helmet. Miles Garrett gets planted by two safeties. All right. <laughs> Jordan, score Calm prediction. Down. He's not on your 30, team right now. 30 to 28. What? The Whites ain't scoring a lot of field goals, but we got Justin Tucker, bro. That's three, fi- oh, three field winning? goals. We're winning. So you, or four you, field goals. The Whites are winning? Yeah. Okay. What? Derek. Derek, please play black. You have to. Should I? You have to. Do I have to? Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to, but the Whites just It's just going to look kicker, really bro. racist if three white guys pick the white team. The kicker ain't going to come down to the end of the game, bro. 45-3. Um, how many field goals have you seen in a real Pro Bowl? Blacks. 45 what? Three. 45 three. three. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Martin Luther King died for this. <laughs> but what I'd really say, 18-12, whites. It's going to be a weird-ass score comedy just game. just take care of the ball and just... <laughs> well, they literally Josh just Allen's run. your quarterback. What we do you are, mean take We are the running ball? the fucking ball. Okay. Okay. Read option, wing T, quarterback, oh, keeper. Josh Allen's jersey is going to look brown after the game. He's going to be dead. No, he's not. And Josh this, Allen, don't go down, right. bro. He's going to die. And this is a perfect segue into my one game I have. Oh, yeah, I had a game, too. Fuck, we're, we're running bad on time. Yeah, we but got 10 minutes. Oh, we got this, to pick I'm out. This is a short it's game. Right. Well, I mean, we can do your pick just pop up. They don't care about you anyways. No. Go ahead. Drew. Four <laughs> players in the NFL right now are tied for the most turnovers in the NFL. Can you name all four? Most turnovers. Like we they turn the ball over? Them personally <laughs> turn the ball over the most in the NFL. You got four players tied for the players, most turnovers. Players, not teams. So, like, they just turn the ball over? Well, I didn't know if you're talking about, like, Geno <laughs> Stone, the one that four. got a turnover. No, Justin no, no, no. That's what I was trying to make sure. Justin Fields is not up there. Ah, man. He was fumbling a lot. Of DTR. No. No, he didn't play enough. Is it any Browns players? No. Okay. Josh Allen. Josh Allen is one of them. What number is he? There's four They're players tied, tied bro, for 17. Dumb, dumb. I didn't. I, bro, he was seven. talking. And I didn't hear you say tied. My bad. 17 turnovers? 17 turnovers. I feel like one hint. They're all more. quarterbacks. Yeah, I think it Jaylen feels like it's Hurts. way more. Jalen Hurts is one of them. Sam Howe. He is one of them. Pat Mahomes. He ain't got no, no line. Good luck on the last one. The last one's kind of an oddball. He's a quarterback, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's dig deep, boys. Uh, not Dak Prescott. because uh, Sam Howe. Everybody. Zach Wilson. Buddy. He already said Sam Howe. Sorry. The Yonics ain't listening today. <laughs> I was thinking not listening. Not Zach Wilson. Damn it. It's got to be Mark Sanchez. <laughs> I spit on the mic. <laughs> I spit on the mic. <laughs> Derek uh, Carr. Uh, uh, Dan- uh, Daniel Jones. Bryce uh, Young. Oh, fuck. I don't think he's played as many games as the other guys, to be Is honest. Is it Bryce Young? No. No. Josh played Dobbs. as many games. Josh, Josh Dobbs. The Dobby. <laughs> fuck. So your four Dominator. turnover leaders in the NFL are Josh Allen, Jalen Hurts, Sam Howell, and Josh Dobbs. All right. Game number two real quick. Let's make it fast. All right, boys. There are eight. I know. I'm sorry. Eight players who have all rushed for 2,000 yards in a season. Can we name Two. all eight? CJ2K. CJ2K. That's an easy one. Derek with the low-hanging fruit. I like it. And speaking about Derek, Derek Henry. I was going to say Derek Henry got it a couple <laughs> Derek years Henry has rushed for 2,000 yards. Jamal yes. Lewis. Jamal Lewis is the one that I only knew Matt would get. I was like, nobody else is getting Jamal Lewis except for Matt. Jamal Lewis has rushed for 2,000 yards. You guys got three out of eight, five left. There's eight. So did Derrick AP Henry, Chris Johnson, Jamal Lewis. Who? I don't think AP did it. Adrian Peterson, yeah, bro. Did he? Ran for 2,000 yards right after a torn ACL. That's yeah. what I, I know he didn't do it before. That's I what don't, I, was I don't know if it was right after. Or okay. Not. I think it was after, but I don't know if it was right after. Adrian Peterson. All right, you guys got four left. Adrian Peterson, Derrick Henry, Chris Johnson, Jamal Lewis. LT? LT did not run Can for 2,000 <laughs> LT. Welcome. For Bobby Boucher. Come on, boys. Dig deep. Um, Eric Dickerson? Eric Dickerson rushed for 2,000 yards back in 1964. I'm I already won. I got four already. Yeah, I'm, tri- I'm talking about all 
I'm thinking about all new guys. All right, Wait, were you saying three? just kidding to the year? Or you said just kidding, right? Oh, it was just kidding to the year that he ran okay. for 2K yards. Yeah, that, no, it wasn't 1964. So we have five. Yes, already. you need three left, and these are all older players. <gasps> One played in the Shit. early Emmett 2000s. Smith? Uh, Emmitt Smith is not on his Damn, he's a rushing leader. I know. Mean, Never rushed for 2K. They Barry had never did either, did he? Barry did. Did he? Yeah. Yes, Barry Sanders. You guys got two left. One is an oddball and one. Uh, I'll give you a hint Curtis for Martin. one of these guys. Not Curtis Martin. <laughs> um, one of these guys Doug played Martin. a long time ago. And let's just say my dude's game was killer. <laughs> OJ Simpson. OJ Simpson. Yeah, Shout out gonna... to Matt for the hint. <laughs> Rush for 2,000 yards. And then the so last the other one. one's an oddball? It's an oddball. Somebody you wouldn't probably think of. He's black and he's bald. <laughs> <laughs> that bald bastard. Um, older player, you said. Older. I think he played in the early 2000s. I know he played in 90s for sure, but I think he played into the early 2000s too. Oh, okay. Yeah, he did. He definitely did. Okay, 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 okay. Really odd ball. He is in the Hall of Fame. I don't know, dude. My brain. He's not in the Hall of Fame. He, he is. is in the Hall yeah, of Fame. Yeah, my, my in the brain's Hall of Fame. like not working. Um, they're probably screaming right now of who the player is. Yeah. There's always that one dude that just knows. Yeah. I, I know mean, there is somebody out there right now. Like, like, dude, they didn't oh my say. God. Bro, you fucking frauds. He um, played from 95 to 01. You shouldn't Ooh. have a podcast so if you don't know this. Seasons. Yep. Ooh. Give me a conference, please. <laughs> AFC. Majority. Eddie George? Player. Not Eddie George. He played on one team, too. He never played on a different team. Eddie George is bald. That was Tennessee. Yeah, bald and black. And black. And only played for Tennessee, I think. Let's um, rock. Um. Uh. Oh. Uh. Terrell Davis. Terrell Davis. Okay. Yeah. That so you're. He he's black. You're. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can say that boy and then say he's black after. Matt. I didn't say anything, boy. You, you did say that boy. You said it. Clip no, I, I don't think. I, I said that said, bald I bastard. Yeah, I don't think he said that boy. Hey. I said that bald bastard. Maybe you said bald, but it's not like that boy. Hey, what's our what's our timestamp? Timestamp we're at Stand an hour, months. hour eight. Okay, but we that. we might have started. You know, right, remember might that. be an hour. Hey, five. Will Compton in that video about the black versus blacks versus whites kept saying "boy." Yeah, he did say "boy," and I was like, "Ah." All right, so your eight what he was two thousand yard rushers are Derek Henry, Chris Johnson, Eric Dickerson, OJ Simpson, Barry Sanders, Terrell Davis, Adrian Peterson, Jamal Lewis. Thank you, everybody, for joining in to another episode of Barbershop Break Room. We appreciate all the new subscribers and new followers. Keep the nice comments coming, and maybe you'll join the show one of these days. Peace. Barbershop Break Room. Barbershop Break Room.